Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Today we're going to do sublimation on glass. So if you saw my video a couple weeks ago, I did several different glass tumblers and glasses in a tumbler press. So if you're interested in doing those, I will link to that video in the description below. But to expand on sublimation on glass, I wanted to do some other glass sublimation blanks. So today we're gonna to do a glass cutting board. We're gonna do glass panels that you can put photos on. And we're gonna do some sublimation glass magnets. So these are all flat sublimation blanks. So even if you don't have a tumbler press or a way to do rounded objects, if you just have a flat heat press, you can still do sublimation on glass. Now these are sublimation blanks. So they all have a sublimation coating. That means they have a poly coating applied to them that will react with your sublimation print. Now with the glass blanks we're gonna to do today, that sublimation coating is applied to the back. You sublimate to the back without mirroring your print and the print shows through the glass to the front. So it does make these types of blanks unique, but also really cool. It's kind of like magic because they're white on the back and then you sublimate on them and it shows through to the front. So we'll just call these magic sublimation blanks, I guess. But let's take a look at the supplies we're gonna use for this project. You're gonna need the following supplies. Protective paper, a lint roller, heat resistant gloves, heat tape, a heat source of some kind. I'm going to use my auto press. You can use a regular heat press or you can even try an easy press. You will need your glass sublimation blanks and some sublimation prints. These are sublimation ink printed on a sublimation printer on sublimation paper. Now you will notice these are not mirrored. That is because the blanks I'm using, you put the image on the back and it shows to the front. It's sort of magical, but you will understand after I do the first one and understand why you do not have to mirror. So this is only for blanks where you put the design on the back, like this glass cutting board, this glass piece intended for a photo, and these glass magnets. So the sublimation coating is on the back on each one of these. So we're gonna put our photo on the back as well. Let's look at how to prep the blanks first and then we'll press. So for this glass cutting board, I'm gonna flip it over to the back and you'll notice it has a white coating on the back. We're gonna clean that well with a lint roller. You could also clean this with rubbing alcohol. Just be sure to allow it to dry completely before you sublimate. Then we're gonna put this white coating over our sublimation print. So you want the white coating touching the sublimation print. Once you have that centered up just like you want it, you will wanna tape the print to the glass. And I'm gonna do that in a few areas here before I even flip it over, just to hold everything into place. Then for the rest of these, I'll put the tape here, wrap it around to hold it into place. So put the tape down, wrap it around to the front. Now, this is ready for sublimation. We do wanna add protective paper to the bottom. And so we'll put the top down in the heat press, sublimation print up, and add protective paper over that top surface. Now you wanna follow the time and temperature recommendation for whatever blank you're using. There may be different recommendations depending on where you purchase your glass cutting board. I'm gonna use 365 degrees Fahrenheit for 360 seconds. So these are a long time press as well. If you have the Cricut Auto Press, I do recommend putting the Nomex pad inside the Auto Press instead of the pad that it comes with. I feel this is firmer and helps with sublimation. Now I'm just gonna press each of these sublimation blanks according to the time and temperature recommendation for each listing. I like to look on the manufacturer's website or on the Amazon listing where I'm purchasing and look for recommendations either in the item description or like in the comments and reviews. Then once your heat press is done, you can remove it with some heat resistant gloves and allow it to cool a few minutes because it will be very, very hot. Then just peel back your sublimation print to reveal your gorgeous design on your blank. This glass cutting board is done as soon as you remove that paper from the back. It's gorgeous. I love this design. However, I think this one would be amazing. Taking a picture of a handwritten recipe from a relative and sublimating that on the back, 
And now this is completely food safe because there isn't, there isn't even any sublimation coating on this top. It's literally showing through from the back. So I really love glass cutting boards for sublimation. Next up are these glass magnets. So I ended up doing these at 380 degrees for 90 seconds, which is longer than it says to do them. And when I did them for 60 seconds, if you'll see the one on the left is much lighter, the one on the right really pops. So the one on the right was the 90 seconds. Now this was with the auto press. You might be able to get by with a shorter time or a lower temperature on a different press. So for these to finish them off, they come with a magnet and you just peel back the adhesive on that magnet, flip them over and put the magnet in the center of the back. Then just press it down well and you have a glass magnet ready for your refrigerator. And I did a set of four all lemon themed. Finally, we have this glass piece with the photo that we sublimated on it. Now, you can sublimate any photo on this. I do like these blanks. So you can see that the edges don't get sublimated because that white portion is just in the center. We sublimated on the back on that white, so this is completely smooth. The only thing I don't like about these is the little thing you use to hold it up. So I'm not wild about this diamond shape and it's plastic, so I'm not wild about that portion. So you just stick one side into the front and then screw this side into the back and now your photo frame will stand up anywhere you wanna put it. So it's cute, I like that it stands up. However, not wild about the diamond thing on here or the fact that this entire thing is plastic. So I do wish this was different, but otherwise these sublimation blanks are absolutely gorgeous. Now I love the way each and every one of these turned out. I did have to up the time or the temperature, one or the other, on my auto press to get it to sublimate correctly. So it's just gonna depend on your situation, what heat press you have, what sublimation printer you have, and that will factor into how long you need to press and at what temperature. I would start with the suggestions that I have in this video or the suggestions on the listing for the sublimation blank itself and go from there. So when I purchase a new sublimation blank, I am always prepared to lose a few in my experiments to get the perfect time and temperature. I did lose a cutting board, did not do it exactly correctly, and that one was more my fault because I did not get the print size correct. Um, the photo glass panel here, I just stuck it back in the press. I just lifted it up just a little bit, peeked at it, it wasn't good enough, stuck it back in the press for longer, worked perfectly. And then you did see that I did ruin one of the sublimation glass magnets because I did not press it hot enough. Now I ripped that off, <laughs> did not just peek at it, and it's super hard to line the sublimation print back up if you just rip the entire print off. So if you are experimenting, do the peek test. Just peek on the corner, see if it looks like it is sublimated completely. If it hasn't, doesn't look like it's enough, you can absolutely just put it back in the press and press it some more, as long as you haven't removed that sublimation print completely. So that's kind of a tip when you're dealing with some of these really odd sublimation blanks. Now for this one, I just ordered three blanks off of Amazon, just as experiments, and they all three worked. I do want to caution you, however, sometimes it does not happen. <laughs> there are some really horrible blanks on Amazon that don't always work. So I will leave the listings to the three I purchased in the description below of this video. If you're on computer, click show more. If you're on mobile, either click the arrow to expand the description or swipe up on the video, depending on how you're watching. You'll get a full list, list of links for everything I used for this project, including the blanks, as well as the files that I used to actually put on each of the projects. And I'll go ahead and link to the tumblers as well, just in case you wanna purchase those and try some glass sublimation tumblers in something like a tumbler press or even a confection of it. So I hope this helped you. I hope you learned a little bit about sublimation on glass and I hope you'll give it a try for yourself. If you learned a little bit, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we covered, drop down in the comment section, ask away. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.